In this video, we're going to talk about how to use Ambient Occlusion's animation rendering modes to generate a rendered animation file. Please note, the ability to render animations is only included in the EX version of Ambient Occlusion. We're going to discuss two ways to export rendered animation files. The first is by rendering a standard animation created using SketchUp's Scenes function. The other is by exporting a rendered animation straight out of the Animator extension from Fredo 6, which is an extension that allows you to create animations with actual moving geometry. Let's start by creating an animation within our SketchUp model. As many of you know, SketchUp generates animations by animating the transition between the scenes you create in your model. In this case, we're going to add two scenes, then animate the transition between the two scenes. Start by selecting a camera angle that you like, then selecting View, Animation, Add Scene. As you can see, this will pop up a tab representing your first scene up above your model. Now, rotate your model to a different view, then do the same thing at a different angle to create your second camera angle. If you'd like, you can click the button for Render in Viewport as you're doing this, to get a good idea of what your rendered angles will look like from your two camera views. If you right click on your tabs and select play animation, SketchUp will play your animation based on the transitions between your two views so you can get an idea of what the animation will look like with transitions. You can do this either with render in the viewport selected or not. You can adjust your transition time and the pause between your different scenes by going to View, Animation, Settings. Make sure the box for Enable Scene Transitions is checked so that your animation transitions between your different scenes are enabled. In this case, I'm going to set my scene transition length to 4 seconds, so I generate a 4 second video. As you can see, when I set this to 4 seconds, the transition between the different scenes is longer than it was when it was set at 2 seconds. Before you render your animation, you can adjust your settings in Ambient Occlusion so that your render shows what you'd like in your animation. You can adjust your settings for your ambient occlusion rendering, either in render viewport mode or render window mode, before you export your animation. Once you've created your scenes and set your rendering up the way that you'd like, you can click on the Render Animation button to pop up the window to export an animation. This will allow you to adjust things like resolution, render quality, which gives you options between very low and very high, higher settings will take longer to render, your frame rate, or the number of frames that will be generated per second in your video. Again, a higher frame rate will cause more images to be rendered. Bitrate, which adjusts the size of your video. The lower settings will generate a smaller video file, and the higher video settings will generate a larger video file with higher quality. You can also set your start and end scenes if you have more than two scenes as well as your location for your output file. Once you've set all of your settings, click the Start button to start rendering your animation. Ambient Inclusion will render your image files, then create a video from your rendering. This process will vary depending on your settings. If you set higher frame rates or higher quality levels, your animation will take more time than if you had selected the lower values. Once your rendering is complete, you can open the video file that was created in a video player. Please note that Windows Media Player may not include the proper video codec to play this file. There are a few options, including installing a codec, like the K-Lite codec, which is linked to in the notes below. You can also download a player like VLC that will play the files. Or finally, you can use a free program like Handbrake to convert the files to other file types. All of these resources are noted in the links down below. Now, let's talk about using the extension Animator by Fredo6 to generate ambient occlusion files. We're not going to get in-depth on how Animator works in this video, but we've linked to several Animator tutorials in the links down below to get you started on how to use Animator to create moving animations. 
To use ambient occlusion to render an animator scene, you're going to go within the Animator Generate Video option, and under Rendering, click the button for Ambient Occlusion EX. You can adjust your other settings as well, including frame rate, speed, dimensions, etc. You can also select an export video type, but you may need to follow the instructions within Animator to install an extension that allows you to export animations rather than just still images before you can export videos. Under Rendering, click the Ambient Occlusion EX option to export a rendered animation using Ambient Occlusion. Note that when you export your file out of Animator, it will export at whatever resolution you currently have Ambient Occlusion set at. To set your resolution, you can go within the Render in the Viewport option, click Temporary Exit to SketchUp, and then you can right-click and set your quality and your other settings before you export in Animator. You can render a test image using the Test Image button in order to get an idea of what your animation files will look like. You can take however long rendering your test image takes times the number of frames in the Frames note in Animator to get a general idea of how long this video will take to generate. Once you've set all of your settings the way that you'd like them, you can click the Generate Video button to generate your video out of Animator. Animator will show you its progress in the video rendering window as it goes. Once Animator is done rendering your video, you can click the Open Folder or the Play button in order to watch your video. As you can see, Animator and Ambient Occlusion rendered your movement that you created in Animator so that you can create moving animations out of your SketchUp models. If you have further questions, make sure to visit the Ambient Occlusion forums in the notes down below for more information. Thanks for watching this Ambient Occlusion EX tutorial.